Hello everyone. My name is Teacher Teresita from Secondary School number 11. A play is fun. Let's start. Lesson 1. Do you know what is a theater? Let's see a short story of the theater. Hello everyone. I'm Janet and I'm here to tell you about the history of theater. Theater was not invented in England. It has got ancient origins. The oldest theater is in Greece. It is a Dionysus theater in Athens. It is located on the hill of the Acropolis and it is an outdoor theater. It is made of stone and marble. In the picture you can see a circular area called orchestra. It was a space where the chorus sang and danced. The audience watched the play from the theater. The actors changed their clothes in the skin. It was a tent behind the orchestra. The Romans often used amphitheaters, but they also built theaters. As you can see, there are similarities with Greek theaters. During the Middle Ages, there were no theaters, but the performances were near the churches or inside them. It's during the Renaissance period that theater in general had a big importance. In Italy, theatres had a roof and a lot of new elements like the curtain and the proscenium. Vocabulary Look at the pictures and try to identify the meaning of the drawing. Ready? Let's check the vocabulary. Costumes Script Director Music Actors Theater Props Makeup Let's repeat it one more time. Costumes, script, director, music, actors, theater, props, makeup. Let's see how many words of our vocabulary can you identify in this crossword puzzle. These are the answers. Actor Theater Costumes Makeup Props Music Script Director Theater means place of seeing. When you go to a place to see a performance or presentation with actors, we usually call it a play. But as in other art shows, there are many genders. Genders can be drama, comedy, and musical. A drama 
It's a play in which there is an event or situation usually unexpected, in which there is a concern or excitement and usually a lot of action. These kinds of plays are said to come from Greek, who love to see this type of performance. These are some examples of drama plays. Comedies. This kind of play may include ridiculous situations or productions that use humor as a way to tell a story. These are some examples of comedies. Musicals. Form of theater that combines music, dialogue, and dance. This kind of play may include shows as well. For instance, contemporary Broadway shows often include expensive costumes and sets that cost thousands and sometimes millions of dollars. These are some examples of musicals. Lesson 2 Keep in mind that there can be many types of audiences, like adults, children, family, or general public. Let's see some examples of theater plays. Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. The audience for this play is for adults. And the synopsis is about the story of two star-crossed lovers who ended up badly because of the hate between their families. The second example is Peter Pan by J. M. Barry. The audience for this play is for children. And the synopsis is about the story of a boy who does not want to grow up, narrated through songs and dance. The third example is The Proposal by Anton Chijov. The audience for this play is familiar. And the synopsis is about the funny story of an unusual marriage proposal with a happy ending. Our last example is Mary Heart of Gold by Adriana Woods. The audience for this play is general public. And the synopsis is about the story of a good-hearted old woman who solves difficult situations with the help of kindness. A play is more than words actors say. The stage directions, instructions between brackets, and the narrator's voice provide information and details that help you understand the characters and their intentions. There are three types of characters, main characters, secondary characters, and incidental characters. The main characters are the most important people in the play. Actions revolves around them and the play usually tells their story. Secondary characters are less important but essential to the play. Incidental characters appear briefly. Intonation is when you read a play out loud. You should pay attention to stage directions, the volume of your voice, and the pauses to express emotions. Lesson 3 The Emperor's New Clothes Have you ever heard about this story? Watch the following video in order to have an idea. But first, 
Let's check the vocabulary. Emperor. Tailors or weavers. Invisible clothes. Tricked. Parade. Kid. Naked. Castle. Now, watch the video to have an idea of this play, The Emperor's New Clothes. The Emperor's New Clothes there is an emperor who loves nice clothes. I want the nicest clothes, he says. The emperor looks for the best tailor. Everyone hears the news. Far away, two brothers hear it too. They aren't tailors. But they are good liars. We have the best cloth! The brothers say every day at the front of the castle's gate. Finally, the emperor hears them. He wants to meet the brothers. I want the nicest clothes says the emperor. Our cloth is the best, says the elder brother. But foolish people can't see it, says the younger brother. The emperor says, Make clothes for me. He gives them a lot of money. We tricked the emperor, the brothers say. They pretend to make the clothes. Later, someone goes to see the clothes. You aren't foolish, so you can see them, right? I can't see the clothes, he thinks. But he doesn't want to look foolish. So he lies to the emperor. Those are the nicest clothes. Your highness, the clothes are finished. The brothers pretend to carry the clothes. Hmm, I don't see anything. He thinks, but he doesn't want to look foolish. The Emperor says, Wow! These clothes are really nice! He puts on the invisible clothes. People clap for him. The Emperor wants to show his new clothes. So he has a parade. All of the people come. Huh? He is naked! They are shocked. But no one says anything. <laughs> the Emperor is naked. And all of the people start to laugh. <laughs> the foolish Emperor runs to his castle. Now is your turn. The product of this activity is the performance of a short play. A play is fun. Step 1. Select a short scene of a play for a young audience. Step 2. Read the selected play aloud. 
Step 3. Determine the type of character you will interpret. Main, secondary, and or incidental character. Step 4. Identify stage directions in each case. Step 5. Look for your costume. Step 6. Determine date and time to make your video. Have a rehearsal. Finally, step 7. Send your video to your English teacher. I hope you have fun. Don't forget to send your video to your English teacher. Thank you, students.